Hey everyone, Chan here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an FBA shipment step by step. Now behind me, it's just a small batch of inventory that I've been saving up so I could show you guys how to create that shipment in your Seller Central. So if you're new and unsure how to ship your products to Amazon, after this video, hopefully you'll get a nice understanding on how to do it yourself. Now the products behind me are already prepped, labeled, and ready to go. All I have to do is just create my shipment in Seller Central, pack up the inventory, then just drop it off at my local UPS store. With that said, we'll jump right into Seller Central so I can show you how to do it. So here we are in Seller Central, and I went ahead and just kind of Cover everything up so you don't see my sensitive data. So we're gonna go up on the upper left hand corner and click on this icon here. Come down to inventory and we're just gonna select manage all inventory. And real quick, one thing I forgot to mention, I already created listings for all these products already. And if you're unsure how to do that, definitely check out my other videos on how to create your product listing with just your iPhone. So now coming back to your seller central under the inventory tab, manage all inventory so now we're just gonna look for the items that we're looking to send in and again i already created these listings so they should be in here so here we are here's this one here's this one this one this one this one and this one okay once you've selected all your items that you're looking to send in go up to actions and then we're gonna go into send replenish inventory click on that and it says just to confirm say yes you did it click on that now it goes and brings you to this page where you're just gonna have to verify everything right okay so here the first one individual unit click on the prep detail if your items need prepping or you did not prep these or you were gonna have a third-party prep center then you would select these on what the product is and how it would be prepped in this case i don't need any prep needed so i'm going to select that at the very bottom hit save and then it says who's going to label the fssku label which is the product label on these products in this case i already labeled them so i'm going to select by the seller and if you select by amazon there's a fee of 55 cents so it's just going to be by seller hit save and pretty much you have to do this to all of them. So I'm gonna fast forward this part so you guys don't get too bored. So now that you have indicated all your products that are, does not need prep or needs a certain type of prep, now you just need to confirm how many of those products are you gonna send in. So for each here, I'm just sending in one of these. I'm sending in three of these. Sending in one of these. Sending in one of these. Sending in one of these one of these okay so now just hit ready to pack so now that you indicated how many units you're going to be sending in of each product you just hit ready to pack on all these units okay there you go i already created and labeled my products already but in this case i'll just walk you guys through it if you need it to print your labels and how that will work so then once everything is labeled it says down here print all sku labels which is we have eight of them right so i'm just going to hit print there we go and indicate the printer that you're using so in this case it's my thermal printer this is the size 51 by 26 millimeter and then i'm just going to hit print all then it downloads it in a pdf where i could just easily print it on my thermal label printer just as simple as that once that's all done we'll just go ahead and hit pack individual unit so now it brings us up to this page where it asks us how would these unit be packed Will everything fit in one box, two box, three box? You'll indicate that down here. So for me, I know I have a box that will fit everything. So I'm just gonna click everything will fit in one box. And as a pro tip, if you're able to fit everything in one box and condense on the number of boxes you're shipping out, typically it's a little bit cheaper. So as a pro tip, try and get everything in one box or less box when you're shipping these units out. So in this case, like I said, everything will fit in one box, click on that hit confirm, and then we'll put in the box size and everything else. So before I start packing these units, I just wanna talk really, really briefly regarding the type of boxes you can use to ship your products into Amazon. And literally, it could be any, any box you can find that'll be able to fit your products perfectly, if you can, the closest possible. 
And these boxes can be, you know, anything around the house that you have. Look, this is something that's already came in from UPS. You can use that. Just remember to remove the labels. That way, it, there's no mistake when shipping these products. So, in this case, here's my box. And we'll go ahead and start packing these units. As you can see, everything fits all in one box. Now that is a plus. So now that we have all the products packaged into our box and see what it weighs and also get the box dimension. So I highly recommend you guys get one of these scale right here. This one is a, it's called a measure tech. I believe I got it on Amazon. If you guys are interested, I'll leave a link down below. And also you just need your tape measure. So with that said, let's measure and see what it weighs and how big this box is. So we can enter this information in our Seller Central and print a shipping label. So now that I have all the dimensions and weight, come back in here and enter that information in here. Box dimension 25, 15, 12, and it was 15 pounds. And then just hit confirm packaging information. There we go, it went through. So now just hit confirm and continue. This is where Amazon will calculate and see how much it would cost you to ship. So now you just indicate the date that you're gonna ship it. I am gonna ship it on the 26th. And there it is, it gave, already gave me a total there of $16.77. So 1677, you're just gonna hit accept charges and confirm. Okay, now you're just gonna come down here and where it says print your shipment label, you're just gonna select the size. In this case, I already have it pre-selected. Thermal printing, four by six, so I'm just gonna hit print. And just like that, I'm ready to slap on my shipping label. Then just go ahead and drop these off at my local UPS store. Before I go, if this video helped you out, I appreciate if you could hit that like button and that subscribe. It would definitely help me out so I can continue to bring you more content like this to help you out in your FBA journey. I'll see you guys in the next one. Now.